Hey guys, how's it going? Will Paints here, and here I am with the Broken Toad open wide bust. Now the guys over at Broken Toad were very kind, and they sent me one of these to paint up and and basically show off to you guys. So let's start by uh, checking out the outside of the box. So we've got all the information. It's two to one scale polyurethane resin, nine parts and 50 centimeters tall. Basic description, QR code and all that, all the usual stuff. Uh, so let's just get into it. See it seems to be packed with two pieces of foam. Quite nicely, you don't really need much protection when it comes to these kind of things. We've got, uh, We've got a really nice um, sort of business card here. So it's sort of frosted clear plastic. That really nice rainbow. This card certifies this model as a 100% original authentic resin cast produced in the UK by Broken Toad. Support real artists, help stop recasting. So that's a really good message. Of course, I agree with the stopping recasting. You've got that logo on it. And then on the back, it seems, yeah, they've got their sort of, I need to figure out where they got this done because I might need some business cards like that. So let's get into the parts. We've got our bag of bits, two pieces of foam. So let's open this up. It seems like all the resin parts uh, come, oh, I forgot my arm. All the resin parts come in one bag and then the little wings come in another. So we'll start off with the wings. So I can get them out. All right, we'll do it. We'll zoom in for this just to get a better view. So the wings are sort of a clear plastic, fairly thin, pretty strong. Uh, they've got this little rod there. You just snip that off, I imagined. In fact, no, you do snip that off. Um, so got this really nice sort of dragonfly sculpted, uh, what would it be? Sort of like a web scaly pattern on the wings that you'd see in insects. That's really nice. Nice tattered edges, just to add to that sort of grim horror vibe to this tooth fairy looking bust. So these are really nice. And We'll move on to the resin parts now. So I'll start off with the head. Now, I, I, I really, really love this sculpt, this uh, this model. It's, I, the moment I saw it when they released it, I, I just sort of fell in love with it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got this sort of vampire-esque, uh, like skin and veins and these little dimples up on top and the ears. But then you've got the double top jaw with all the teeth and the detail on this thing is is absolutely nuts zoom in for you there and such a small uh, scale mini as well and they've got all the backs of the teeth modeled this really is something something amazing you've got all the veins on the head and the back there seems to be a little bit of slippage here on the jaw but Super easy to fix. That's only like 30 seconds to fix that up. So absolutely fantastic sculpt. And then we'll move on to the body. Just look at this thing. So we can see where the uh, head attaches up here to this kind of a creepy looking angle. So you've got lots of details, lots of striations and uh, sort of the musculature of this guy mixed in with these uh, alien-esque grim, scary looking parts like the drop downs on the bottom of the ribs got a sort of insect-like abdomen really thin, really spindly with it, like the hip bones here got all the musculature down here underneath the arms seems we've got a few little holes here that have come through the casting process but 
They're very small, very out of the way. That'll take me a couple of seconds to fill in. Not too bad. You kind of expect these things with resin models. It's just, it's just how it is. You'll have to fill in a tiny little hole here or there. I've never, I've never had a resin model from anywhere that hasn't had some gaps to be filled or some little hole to be filled, but that it's super easy to do so. So we've got some really nice shapes going on on the back. You can see the shadows cast by my light. These, this, that is this kind of detail that really got me interested in this. The kind of simplicity of the back. Yeah, you know it isn't flat. You can see the shape being cast by the light, and you've got your um, holes here on the back for the wings to go in. Obviously, once you cut these rods off, they'll sort of go in a place like that, or like that. Be really cool. Lots of veins everywhere on this model that are really nicely sculpted in. Very impressed. Very impressed. A couple of holes on the base here, but that's literally the the easiest thing to do. Really nice. And then we'll go into the arms. Now it seems we've got a little bit of an issue. Eh, not that bad. So let's have a look at the other arm. Okay, so where the rod is here, it seems this cast had a bit of an air bubble in it, uh, in an unfortunate place, but let's see how that fits onto the arm. Oh, that'd be easy to fix. Like I said, these kind of things, they're not, this kind of thing is very unnormal. This, I'd say this is super rare. You're not expected to, to have this kind of an issue, but it's still easy to fix. Which is good. So you've got this sort of like limp wristed hanging wrist and an arm. Just look at the detail on that sculpt. This is such a small sculpt by the way. It's, let's see, that shoulder is the size of my little fingernail and the arm. And that's such a huge amount of detail going into that. All the veins, got the underside sculpted. This is really impressive. Again, it's just it's things like this that really attracted me towards this model. Look at the nails. Some good fingernail definition. Finger uh, definition. Really impressive. And here we go, we've got the other arm here. So you can see where this bit was meant to be in comparison. But unfortunately this bit had a little bit of an air bubble, I think. But 99 times out of 100 it'll be like this. Look at the nails. Similar to the other arm, same kind of limp hanging pose to the uh, wrist. Doesn't look like there'll be much to clean up here. Just your average bits of flash. Nothing that you can't cut away in seconds. So these, as I said before, these are like the main arms that go kind of here. And then we've got these tiny little arms. A little bit of flash here and there, but they're just smaller versions of the large arms. Again, the detail on these, especially for these tiny arms, these things are like the size of my thumbnail. But you can see the, the musculature and the striations and the veins and the different folds and how the skin wraps around the bone. Even the nails and the fingers have still got that really nice amount of detail. And these are the arms that will be carrying the tooth. Now I absolutely, when I saw this model, sort of, it's like that, that evil version of a tooth fairy and it's carrying a big tooth and I just, I just fell in love with it. And look at this, such a nicely sculpted tooth. So much room for, for detail and colouring and subtle variations. You could even sort of cast a little thing off this or sort of paint in to look like a metal filling. There's so much, so much possibility. And it just, it, it's such a cool pose. And I was, I was just very thoroughly impressed when I saw this on their website. Fantastic. So that is all the parts. I will now put them together, clean them up, 
fill in any gaps and holes and I'll show you how it looks. And here we are. I've glued it together, I've filled in any gaps. Uh, I went a little bit overboard with the uh, milliput you can see. I repaired that hole in the shoulder. Obviously, I need to sand up and smooth these areas of milliput. But there really wasn't much to do in any that was, for example. Let me show you here. This little bit of shoulder, just here. Super easy to fill in the neck. Really simple. But look at that. Look at this sculpt. That is just beautiful. I'm really impressed by the posing, by the, the quality of the sculpt, by the sort of just the feel of it, the atmosphere of it. These clear wings are a really nice touch. I think personally I'm going to paint them a little bit, but honestly you could leave them like that, attach them to the painted model and they'll look incredible. Really nice. So that was the open wide bust from Broken Toad. Now time to paint it up. It'll be a separate video. But yeah, that's all for the unboxing and the review. Honestly, I, I really do love this model. It's a little bit fiddly to get the little arms in the right place, but once they're in, it's easy to get the pose right. Honestly, no real problems with the sculpt had a bit of an issue but like I said that's the kind of thing that happens one in every hundred models if that but yeah very impressed really going to enjoy painting this so I'll put all the links to the Broken Toad uh, website and their Instagram and stuff in the description they don't only do busts they do brushes really nice brushes really good value brushes as well I'm a big fan of them uh, they do other busts, they do full figures. So yeah, give them, a, uh, give, them a, give them a look and see what you think. And yeah, thank you for watching.